Hey everybody, old school dirtbacker here. Giving the second update on my Nelson rig tail bag. Got it installed. Wanted to make sure everything was good before I gave a review on it. I've done rode with it two or three hundred miles on it. Everything is working out good on it. Got it on the the black rack that came on this the round tubular rack that came on the bike when i bought it i used the under the fender way of mounting i could have mounted it through the rack it was a little looser than i wanted it to be i didn't didn't like it i mean it would have not went anywhere it would have not fell off but i just wanted to have it a little a little tighter Right here, it don't, the way I got it, it don't move. The bike moves like the way that's done. And I wanted to show you a little bit of what I put inside it. I haven't really got totally decided the way I want to pack it. What I want to do, I know I'm going to do more, more with it. Try to figure some stuff out, more stuff that I need. I've not took enough time to really get me together a good tool kit to go in it stuff this is stuff i've just been using while i've been riding here around the house and uh here we go anybody need a puppy free for the taking we gotta let her go she's the last one we had a litter of six and she's the only one left good puppy all right here's the inside the way i'm packing it Inside the top of the mesh, I try to keep me a knife and a razor blade. Got me some electrical tape, small flashlight. Got a pair of readers so I can see something <laughs> if I need to up close. I got an extra pair of gloves, riding gloves if mine get wet. Pair of rubber gloves. I don't know why I got them in there in case they need to stop and do a prostate exam or something. Who knows? And in here, the main compartment, I keep my little camera. If I need to take a picture of something on the road. A couple of my videos was done with this camera. Had that thing forever. How long I've had it? Keep me a bottle of water in here. Keep my phone. How many of y'all believe I'm still on a slide phone? Not stepped into the 21st century yet. That's why they call me old school dirt biker. Got my Vietnam crusher boonie hat. Love that hat. Wear it all the time. Got me a rubber strap. Here's the tool kit. I kind of made out of an old ktm tool kit i have from one of my new bikes i had sometime back in the 90s found it in the garage i never throw anything away i don't got what all i put in it got a ktm made in austria philip screwdriver There's your KTM T-handle that came with it back in the day. There's some zip ties. Some more zip ties. A little flat screwdriver I put in here. A pair of pliers I put in here. Two most important things for this Honda. A five and six millimeter Allen wrench. I got to get me a five and six millimeter socket i've only got one set in the garage in my toolbox to go on this then i'll have a t-handle to take everything off some loctite blue loctite in case you need loctite something parallel needing those pliers there's a ktm 10 millimeter and a ktm 8 millimeter that goes on the t-handle and this right here will fit right on the six millimeters. This is a six millimeter on this T-handle. So it will work on the 
on the bike. Well, that's what I've done with it. My Nelson rig tail bag so far. And there's plenty of room left. I've never never extended it with the extension, taking the lower zipper off and raising it up. Need to put anything in it. Still plenty of room to put my lunch. If I want to go to work, I can set it on top of that, small lunch. Whatever I want to take, it's more than I need. But anybody that's thinking about getting one of these for their CRF or any other bike, it is it just fits so good. I am really, really impressed with it. But this is what I wanted to show you. Keep you updated. I hadn't done one in a while. I've got my drift ghost S camcorder in to go on my helmet also ordered me a new dual sport helmet because i don't have nothing but dirt bike helmets and goggles i knew i would never be able to record any video worth hearing with just a pair of goggles on and a motocross helmet so i got me a dedicated dual sport helmet on the way be here next week and forgot when i ordered the drift s camera there woodsman I forgot that I needed a micro SD card, so I got a refurb off eBay for that for $11, 64 gig. That was, I don't know, $50, $60 here locally. But I hope everybody has a good week. Weather's finally warmed up enough that I can start riding all the time. I'm not near as tough as a bunch of y'all guys that ride in the cold weather. I can't. It gets below 50 degrees. I don't really enjoy it that much. Got some parts in for this bike that I'm going to put on. I got a hammerhead shifter. Get rid of that cheesy shifter to go that they put on these CRFs. But that's an easy fix. 10 minutes. But anyway, I will be back with y'all with another video soon. Everybody have a good day. Old school dirt biker, still at home.